Well, gang, once again, we have a ton of things to do and they're calling for possible rain, so let's hit it. We actually have to cut through here. We saw this the first day. I think I'm gonna switch lenses and take a look at this stuff. I didn't do it the first day. I'd really like to get a good glimpse of what those look like. There we go, that's better. Wow, that is great. Hey, that Pinocchio is like Jeffrey's long lost cousin. Does the same stuff. I do plan on having a spritz while I'm here. That tower. See those peppers up there? He's got the mask on. Little bag of donuts for 150 euro. So here's basically what we're gonna see. Here you will visit part of the ancient Roman city buried on the 5th century BC because of a flood. All right, so I'm actually gonna do two things. There's the aqueducts, which I just showed you, but I can't go back there for another 40 minutes. They're making me take the guided tour on that one. So I came over here to the underground city. Two different things. One's like the underground city and one's the aqueducts underground. Wow, look at this huge village scene though. That is certainly detailed. Holy cow. Yep, there's Naples in an old nutshell, I guess. All right, if it gets too dark, I'll switch cameras. Oh, they have it pretty well lit up over here. Look at that. We are already in the underground, and then there's an underground to the underground. Wow, man, there's, yeah, there's a whole, whole thing happening down here. I'm switching cameras. All right, we got the low light camera on here now. Now let's go exploring. It says this was the laundry, the room we're going into now. Man, it is dark in here. This camera is doing an amazing job. Wow, yeah. There's dishes and everything, yeah. Whole civilization down here. This would have been the bakery, it says back in there that we can't get through, unfortunately. But you can see that they have some ovens and things back there. God, I wish we could walk through all this, you know? Other than just seeing like all these cool things back there that we can't get into. 
says back here was the dyeing shop. And that was all connected. This would have been part of that same section. Then let's take this little bridge. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a lot of underground city back here. Wow. I love seeing this kind of stuff. Oh, it is very uneven ground though. I've fallen a couple of times already. You're not gonna see it on camera though. I wonder what these little holes on the ground are for. Maybe dogs or animals, you think? So it says that this whole room was part of the marketplace. And so when you see those holes up there, that was to let the light through. That just, kind of mind blowing, isn't it? Think they were having a marketplace back here? And it clearly kept going, because there's a, a way to go down there, they don't let you, but there's clearly more down here. A lot of people making wishes down there, I guess. So this was known as the Scola, and it says that it was a kind of a worshiping and gathering place for artisans and religious people and... See what's back in here. I don't know. I think we made it to the end. It was pretty cool to see an underground city, but if you've seen my video, I don't know that I would waste the money. Cause you, I mean, once you've seen a little bit of it, you've pretty much seen it all. I'll see what the aqueducts across the street are like. And if you want your fun pick, they have the place where you can stick your face right through there. All right, let's move along. It's starting to rain again, so I'm gonna hit it to the next stop. All right, what we're looking for now is the Pio Monte della Mazzaquandria because there's, um, and there it is right in front of us. There's some great Caravaggio art there. I hope I can get in. I hope I can. Now what I'm hoping to see today are the seven works of mercy. All right, this one we have to buy a ticket for. Well, I got my ticket. Let's do this. Let's go see some Caravaggio. Wow, this church is majestic. There's no other word for it. Look at those balconies up there. Now there's actually work by several famous painters in here, but the one that I came to see was right up here. The Seven Works of Mercy by Caravaggio.
I'm gonna swap lenses. Now let's take a look at this one. This one's got some great details to it. I really particularly like this part. Interesting Caravaggio was always kind of talked about with Rembrandt. Similar styles, but two different countries and different time periods. I can definitely see the comparisons. Here's another one of these nativity type scenes. And then above it is the painting by Fabrizio. You know, it just kind of blows my mind as I sit here and look at this, that this would be in a church, because I get that there's the, the biblical meaning and everything, but then there's a guy over here suckling on a breast. Now they also have a picture gallery that came along with my ticket purchase, so let's go up and check out a little bit of that real quick. If my sister's watching, The Last Supper by Francisco de Mira. That one's called Ruins. That was taken out of a church, you can tell, because it's on a chunk of wood.
see the Pope at the very top. God, what a great view out of the window up here. If you follow, follow this all the way down, you can see the woman right there. What have we got here? Oh, wow. Serious business going on there. I, uh, I guarantee they were not making vlogs at this table. Look at that ring. And here are the balcony boxes we could see from the church when we were looking at Caravaggio. And there's the Caravaggio right there. Wow, that is interesting. It's like a wood carving of a crucifixion. Joseph, Mary, and Jesus. Take a look at that. I love that. Got the Dalmatians. Pulling the kids in the little carriage. Almost like a chariot, you know? All right, we are out of here. Off to the next stop. This is what I was looking at from outside that window. The Pope's all the way at the top of there. Well, I made it to Scatuccio, where the uh, where I was recommended to come and have pastries. So we're here. That's it. Now to find somewhere to sit in the rain. That's where I just got this. And lucky for me, they plan on rain. I was gonna say I think I found a friend. Well, I'll definitely say this. Italian people are extremely loud. They talk all the time and loudly. It's kind of crazy, but I'm the one talking to the camera, so. But that being said, they're also some of the nicest people I've encountered on my trips. Well, the Baba was awesome. Well, I was actually gonna go in this museum, but they won't allow you to take any photos inside, so I just can't put it on film, but I'm gonna go in there for a little while. And then I have one more thing I wanna do today. Well, I went in around the corner and I got to see an amazing statue of Christ that was just beyond words. But they wouldn't let me film it, so I decided to pop in here for a coffee. You know, every time I order a coffee, I keep forgetting that their version of coffee is espresso. So it's like literally a shot. So this time I ordered a cappuccino. I'll tell you why I should have known that in about two or three days when I do the filming location for something. Read this sign. Well, actually, read that part. Neapolitans don't eat tourists. <laughs> I came down here and saw this purple panther. Looks like the one Skeletor used to ride. And then saw this stop gentrification. Apparently they're not a fan of the USA. <laughs> oh, Mr. Pennywise. Oh, the queen's got her tongue out. Holy cow, look at that pillar. It's got a freaking Viking ship going through the middle of it. Like I used to ride at King, well, I didn't ride it at King's Island, but I saw it at King's Island. Jaw, if you were bigger, this would be me and you, dude. Yeah, this one's, this one's blowing my mind. I just, I can't believe those, that's awesome.